that. So I need to get a new uh, refreshment there so that it can light up in here. Anywho, um, it's very early in the morning. It's Sunday, first week of September, getting to an end. And it's actually quite awesome. We have what we call a Indian summer. So it's quite hot outside in the afternoon and in the morning. So yesterday I did some art resin on two pieces that I made. Um, I will show you at the end of this video or in the beginning. I haven't decided yet. Maybe it's all of them. But it's my red pieces that I made. <clears throat> and they all had a layer of varnish. And next time, hopefully, I can share how to do art resin. It's quite easy actually, but you always get nervous in the beginning when you do that with a new uh, resin. I did a resin at an earlier point. I will show you how bad they went. It was a different resin type. Uh, not much instructions, so I changed my mind and tried something that was simpler, and that's the art resin. But we still need to keep in mind about the temperatures and so forth. Never mind. Since we are in Indian summer and we're getting to the fall, I yesterday evening went downstairs here in my gallery and um, studio and thought about the colors, and I wanted to do something different that is more autumn-like. So I have selected a, ooh, a huge number of uh, colors for this. So the base is going to be the titanium white. And on the top colors, I am choosing the deep gold from Amsterdam. Then I am actually adding the Naples yellow red um, from Amsterdam, the pyro red, the pearl red from Amsterdam, the Van Dijk brown from Amsterdam, I'm really getting into the color here, and then the bronze from Amsterdam, the copper from Amsterdam, and the light gold from Amsterdam. And as for the red, I'm not going to put much in it, but I really want to see something coming out there because you see these brown, yellow kind of uh, colors coming out. A little bit red, uh, some violet actually acts also in there, but I did try a test on that and I didn't like the outcome of that. So I'm just going to get a little bit of the red one in there. Okay, so let me put down the base colors and then I will be right back. Back in business, out of white paint, or at least mixed white paint. So let's try again. So let's put down the deep gold. Yeah. And yet again, I see a doggy here. Oh. some more deep gold down just to be on the safe side here it is a huge canvas so just being on the safe side here some navels red yellow This is also for my wind 
winter exhibition, which I'm really thinking about at the moment. Everything goes into that planning there. Uh, just order the banner, some specific cards, all that kind of stuff. Now we're taking the bronze. I'm trying to price mark everything, being ready, how to pack them, transport all of them, lots of paintings and so forth. <sighs> Not a preparation to do in that kind of case. But I guess if you tried it yourself, you know how it is. with the light gold. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully better than the last one that we tried out. Bubbles going away. Okay, I'm not sure if I have the blow dry, if it needs to be on the high end or the low end. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to start with the low one and then we'll take it from there. Okay, we're back for a close-up. So fixed the sides, twitched a little bit here and there, but you know what? Oh, it looks like it's green on my camera here, but it is all the metallic colors coming out here and the fintite brown is just awesome. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing this when it's dried up because then I think I'm gonna rest in this one and uh, take it as one of my keepers for the exhibition in December. Lots of beautiful cells popping up here. Yeah, definitely like the flow here and the hidden colors that are popping up now. That Van Dyke is really awesome. So this is going to be part of the series that I'm gonna make as the autumn collection. I think that's going to be beautiful. So let me take out the studio lights and see how that works. Alrighty, we're back and as you can see I did may scrape my edges or bottom of my canvas and not the edges. So let's go in for close-up without the studio lights. You can really see the Van Dyke brown. I love that color and uh, also the yellow naples there 
yeah this is cool this is kind of a no autumn and again I have to repeat myself you have to see this in daylight and when it's dried up and had either resin or a varnish I haven't decided yet I can start with a varnish and I can always put on a layer of resin yeah I love this but what do you think I'm gonna make a series of this and this is a canvas that is 60 by 60 centimeters so one of the little bigger ones I love to do the big ones although I had to scrape today but uh, leave a comment give me a thumbs up or send me an email and if you're interested in a piece also send me an email or leave a comment to me and I'll get right back to you until next week have a fantastic day and and a week actually also bye bye